Hi, I'm Graham Bell, and these are my tips to help you achieve dynamic skiing. In the last 10 years, skiing has undergone a revolution. With shaped skis, now everyone can get their skis to carve up the pistes. In short, now everyone can ski a little bit like Hermann Meyer. It feels great, but skiing like the Hermanator can be quite tough. It's a little late to start training as you drive into resort, but there are things that you can do that will help. First off, remember alcohol has double the effect at high altitude, so you might want to consider going easy for the first couple of nights. The other thing that you want to consider before you hit the slopes is to get some stretching in as you arrive at the hotel. More flexibility in your hips and lower back will allow you to ski in a dynamic position, dropping your hips further into the turn and creating the body angles that you need. Calf flexibility is important to get forward flexion in your ski boots and hamstrings and quads need to be loose for injury prevention and muscle recovery. If you're not too embarrassed, try some mobility stretching before your first run. It's basically just swinging either your arms and legs, trying to get that range of motion going in your joints, just to loosen up your joints and warm up your body. Whatever you do, don't do any really hard stretching before you go skiing. If you pull on the muscle too hard, it'll weaken it, and you don't really want to do that before your first run. So we've talked about dynamic skiing, but what is it and how do you learn it? Well, dynamic skiing is about creating the right body angles to hold the pressure that comes back up from your skis. The more you edge your skis, the more they'll carve and the more pressure you'll have to deal with. Try and keep your upper body upright so that your legs swing underneath you like a pendulum. Both shins should be parallel so both skis will track on the same arc. And finally, stay centered over the fronts of your skis. Sitting back will only put added strain on your thighs. Start off on a nice easy slope, just rolling your skis onto an edge, trying to leave two parallel lines on the snow. From there you can progress to a steeper slope and even tackle a race. After a good day on the mountains, your legs are more than likely feeling a little stiff. Now there are a number of ways of dealing with this. If there's an exercise bike in the hotel, then 15 minutes spinning will help get rid of the lactic acid. Saunas and steam rooms are good, but make sure you drink plenty of water. Now there is another way of beating post-skiing pain, and unfortunately it involves yet more pain. Yep, it's the ski racer's favourite, the ice bath. No shortage of snow in a ski resort. Oh. 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 Uh, five minutes of this to sort you right out. <laughs>